The United Nations does start work to reduce abuse of illegal things and hard drugs for school age picking them for Nigeria. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, don't, want, don't do one training for teachers, civil society joint body and caregivers on to response to drugs and organized crime for Nigeria. The training with the team introduction to drug education for school picking them, when we say go increase knowledge and keep them safe as the UNODC take hand, is in a part of their strategy for drug prevention, treatment and care for school age picking them. One of the things we're doing, particularly on this project that is uh, being funded by uh, European Union through UNODC, is to take this campaign, this sensitization, to the grassroots level. And this uh, part of the program that the mandate has been doing, uh, community mental health, community drug substance abuse awareness. And, uh, you know, at uh, the grass, uh, you will see these elderly people, and uh, it is a bit easier to educate them in their dialect. So we try to like transcribe, you know, some of the materials, and then we try to see how we can get interpreters that can speak that data, so that we can really accept the message. And one of the tactics you know we try to use is to ensure we go through the traditional leaders in those communities because they listen to them more than they will listen to us, right? So we try to educate the traditional leaders, the religious leaders of those communities, so that um, they can help, you know, pass this message effectively to these elderly people for us. The 15 civil society organizations are isolated, can't cover the entire country, but they can do great things in the communities that they want to work with. So we want to sh shift narratives in terms of issues around stigma, in terms of access to treatment, and care for people who use drugs. We have identified all our stakeholders whom we are training, and it has great effect. In the training, we have stakeholders like the religious leaders, the youth, the uh, CSOs, that is the uh, health workers, and all the stakeholders, even the law enforcement agency. And it is not only we consider gender, from the training given to us by UNODC that has made it so good, so nice. We have identified so many girls and boys that were in hidden and they have been brought back to their parents. So we've had um, um, three weeks basically of working with the CSOs. Um, each week has been with a different set of CSOs, five CSOs each week, having five people from each of these five CSOs. Uh, these were 15 CSOs that had initially received a grant from UNODC to carry out uh, drug prevention, treatment, and care sensitization in their various communities. And so this second meeting was, again, a follow-up meeting to kind of be up to date in terms of their own experience in carrying out this um, program and to then also train them in how to then work with schools. What I'm taking away from this training, which is also a plus to other trainings that um, Society for the Improvement of Rural People have gained from UNODC for the past five to six years now. We've been in the treatment service. We've also been in UNODC sensitization program. This is the TPTC, which is increase um, knowledge and awareness on um, drug issues and also to increase uptake for people who use drugs, service uptake for people who use drugs.